Well guys, thanks for coming back for another video. I'm doing a little rabbit hunting again. And I'm actually walking back to the truck to grab another box of shells and empty my pouch because it's so full. So that's a sign of uh, we're having a pretty good day. The sun's high. Um, these rabbits are out underneath all these little brush trees just kind of getting warmed up and we're definitely connecting with a few. So stay tuned. I got my gun fixed from that last video. I took it into high caliber in Alamo there. They're awesome guys. And they went through and fixed this thing and it's working absolutely perfect. So that being said, I'm going to grab another box of shells and head back out. All right, guys, stay tuned. He's down there. He's still going. Get him. Oh, he's still going. Is he down? How? Man, we suck. Hang on, we'll get him. Maybe not. There, jeez. It only took us like eight shots there. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> There's the first one right there. Well, that's a nice one. Big and good way to start. What are coming at you? Oh, there goes one way over there. He's going up the mountain. Did you see him? And he circled back around. He went up the mountain, right there. Up the hill. You go over there and I'll chase him this way. Well, hopefully I got some of that on video. It was really cool. We kicked up a rabbit and it uh, had circled around here and, and we had lost it. And we were working up this little hill right here. And I don't know if I was watching something one day or, uh, or I was reading it somewhere, but those rabbits, especially when you have dogs, they always circle back to where you initially found them normally it's kind of so if you have dogs they'll chase them chase them chase them all the way back to where you're at and that's when you get an opportunity at them but i remember reading or seeing it somewhere where they said that if you kick up a rabbit they normally will make their little path and you'll be way out in front of them and they'll run behind you so i keep looking back and looking back and seeing and then i turned back and one was hopping across this little road going up this hill and i ran and chased it up here <laughs> and managed to get it coming back down and I got it on the other side of this hill. So that was kind of cool seeing them actually do what uh, what they're supposed to do kind of and uh, not missing them when they gave me another opportunity. So fun stuff, stay tuned.
Got him. There he is. See him? I didn't get a shot at him. Did you? What happened? Whew. Seeing him? This whole big tree was in my way right here. As the day is going on, it's definitely slowing down a little bit. I don't even know how many we've kicked up yet, but uh, a lot. It's been really fun. I've had days where you only kick up one or two rabbits, so the fact that I bet we've kicked up 10 or so today is really awesome. So I'm gonna, the sun's starting to go down a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna make one more pass through here, see if I can't get lucky with one more. And uh, all I'm doing is kind of stomping and crisscrossing. In any little spot of brush, I'm stomping on it. And as you can see, a lot of times you can get within, you know, two or three feet of these rabbits before they actually pop out of wherever they're hanging out. So you really have to be picky on stomping and stomping and stomping. And, uh, you know, if there's any little chunk of brush sticking up, you stomp it. And uh, don't be lazy and you're bound to kick some up. Stay tuned. Let's try to get another one. This you can tell is a prime spot that they're living. There's poop everywhere, a track going underneath that little pallet right there. They're in there thick, but uh, they probably hold up. Got him. Yes. Gotta go get him though. Where's he going? Where's he going? There he's gone. Okay. There he is, guys. A lot of times I don't really like to take those last follow-up shots because the more you hit these things, the more you damage the meat. But this one was gonna run back. You don't want them to run back into their hole. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Always aim for the head and uh, try to save as much of that meat as you can because it is delicious. We're just gonna work our way through here and probably call it a day. I'm kind of tired, but uh, anytime one kicks up, it gets your heart pumping. It's just like fishing. When a bobber goes down, when a rod goes off, it gets you going. Very fun and exciting.
hopefully that one you guys saw how I was kicking like right here and it was literally right there three feet away from me before it kicked up so that's kind of what I'm saying by you really have to beat these spots up and if you think a rabbit could hide under it you need to be stomping on it because you're gonna miss them if you don't and that was perfect there's a hole right there too where it could have went in the worst thing is when you wound them and then they get in their hole they get in their hole and they die and so you'd rather make that follow-up shot and make sure you can get it rather than letting that rabbit run off into its hole and die and then it's completely worthless that looks like another rabbit hole right there well i don't know if you guys can tell or not but i'm whooped look at all the briars all over this thing it's uh you know you had a good day of rabbit hunting when you're covered in briars there's the last one I think we got we got four here total and uh the last video we got two it was just enough to have a little stew but there's four heavy rabbits so we're gonna go home clean them up get some dinner and uh get all this video put together and get her posted so let me know what you guys think if you have any tips for me, the uh, the 1187 performed absolutely perfect this time. Can't give enough shout out to High Caliber there in Alamo. Um, if you guys are from West Michigan, I'm sure you guys know about them, but they're an awesome gunsmithing shop, Cerakote. They do all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, they made it to where my gun works again. So that's absolutely killer. So anyways, I know I'm the Michigan angler, but sometimes I guess I'm the Michigan rabbit hunter so anyways hope you guys liked the video thanks for watching